So I readjusted the float. It looks like it was set way too high, but then I looked at the stock one and it was, it, I think it was set too high as well. It was also leaking gas out of it. So I think it was set incorrectly. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I plug this thing in and it doesn't leak gas. Fingers crossed. So I tried, uh, I adjusted the float. And then I, I, luckily this time I didn't go and screw a bunch of stuff in thinking I had it right. Uh, hooked the gas up to it, turned the gas on, and it poured out worse. So now I'm thinking maybe try the other way. I know, I know there's probably an easier way of doing this. It's just in my head it's not making any damn sense. You know, it's the craziest thing. Uh, I looked everywhere for a ruler or mostly a ruler. I don't know why I didn't use a tape measure. Anyway, so I was reading forums and when you get it to where it'll shut the valve uh, to let the fuel in and out, it needs to measure 13 millimeters. So I did something. I quickly designed and 3D printed a little 13 millimeter tool so that I could hold it up to it and know if I'm at the right level. Uh, sometimes it's the simple things, right? I don't know, man. I keep adjusting the float. I'm kind of tired of taking this thing in and out. I don't, I don't, all the seals are good. I've replaced what I think needs to be replaced. It's obviously the float somewhere. It's not shutting, I, I just measured it. You know, when it touches the plungers, where you're supposed to measure it, that's where I measured it. It took a while to, to start leaking, but then it, as soon as I went to go turn it off, all of a sudden it started leaking. I don't know if it's, I don't know, man. It's very irritating. So running a little test here beside the Chinese carp. Uh, I've tried with the, the two different uh, the little needles, one from the Chinese and one from the, uh, the stock carb. And on the stock carb, and I, I can't really set up the camera right now because my tripod's gone to, to show, but when I put this in the hole it goes in and blow through the gas tube, it never seals up. It always lets some air through, but if I do it on the Chinese carb, it does seal up um, with both. So I'm not, I'm thinking best case scenario is probably buy a rebuild kit for the stock carb. I've been taking parts off of the Chinese card and putting on the uh, the stock one, just like stuff that's not integral to how it runs, uh, because I didn't want to screw up the quality pieces. It's been mostly like screws and uh, a seal or two, but I'm not sure now. Now I'm thinking, but I was looking at the the, the part where this goes into both. There are 
I, I would love to have done a video on the, the differences between the two carbs because there are a few differences. Um, I don't know that quality wise it makes a difference, but they're just differences in how they're and how the pieces are put together, I guess. But I don't, but the that particular piece, like if you look right here, that piece is where it goes in. This looks different than that piece. So I can't strip that from the Chinese carb and put on the Makuni. But at the same time, it's not sealing properly. And if it's not sealing properly, I think that it's just going to keep leaking gas no matter where I set the float, right? Because it's always, it's, it, depending on I've, I've, where I've had the float, this time it took longer to start dripping. But then it just started dripping anyways. But it was like a slow drip, kind of. Well, slow drip, I'm sure you'll see it in the video before this and prior to what I'm talking right now. That's slower than it was earlier. But if that's not sealing properly, it's going to leak regardless, is my thing. So I got to figure out how some of the rebuild kits I've seen have been pricey. I don't know. Keep thinking. So I've had the fuel on to the carb for about 45 seconds and I haven't dripped yet. I just assumed as soon as I turned the camera on it would start dripping. I'm hoping the little things I did made it better. Of course now next step will be to make sure it's not starving for fuel because I set the float too high. <laughs> so we'll try that next. Hey, so it runs, it doesn't leak, as you saw in that last little clip there. Uh, I've, I've revved it up, made sure it doesn't pop bang at the top end, which was kind of uh, what initially started this whole breakdown process. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, it's, it was kind of choppy with my footage, only because uh, initially I had seen a YouTube video where a guy just took the card and flipped it and then worked on it and then... I realized that wasn't going to work for me. Uh, and then I kind of, so initially I started working on the carb in between putting the new sprocket on and then realized I didn't have the proper socket to go on the, uh, the axle nut there or the hub nut. So then I started on the carb and then, so that's why you see some clips there where the tires off and then it's back on is cause I was finishing the other video at the same time. Uh, so next will be to get all the body work back on. And uh, in the next video, my daughter has agreed to videotape me writing it. I'm uh, working on getting a GoPro so I can film uh, my writing it. Uh, I do live in Canada, so writing time is short. I'm hopefully till about September-ish, September, October maybe. Uh, so yeah, if you like that, uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm in, a, I'm in a contest right now with my daughter to see if we can get more subscribers, and she's kicking my butt. So if you could help me out with that, that'd be great. Thanks. Have a great day.